Hello Miss Hockey Universe, the European club season 23-24 is drawing to a close and as of today, which is the 26th of May, we know all the champions already that follow the regular season, you know, going over the winter, starting in the fall and ending in spring, not the full year season as the Nordic countries do. And I was asking myself the other day, uh, can I make a video with uh, champions? To show you for each European champion a jersey. Turns out, yes, I can do that. It's just I had to wait for Belgium today. Whether I have a jersey or not, turns out I do have. Of 13 European champions, I have at least a jersey. Given that I have of 14 leagues uh, at least one jersey, I think that's actually pretty good. I'm really proud of that. I'm wearing Pauk, who to me are sort of surprise Greek champions, which is really, really amazing uh, the way they turned the season around after being eliminated from, from Europe. They really went on, on a tear and beat all their big rivals to win the championship. So this is the first jersey that I'm going to show you, which is the 2021 Pauk home jersey, a jersey that I really, really like. Um, I was almost about to get the championship jersey, but then I decided... Nah. Let's not do it. I have already a black and white Pauk jersey, but let's see that. For the other 12 uh, jerseys, I want to go through the current standing of the UEFA club coefficient. So this includes this season and excludes the 18-19 season. And we'll start at the top and then we go down. We'll see how far we go. What will be the last one and how many leagues do we have to skip in between. And let's start. England is of course the highest one and the champions of England are Manchester City and the jersey I'm gonna have picked for this one, I'm gonna show you, is of course the famous Aguero jersey from the 11-12 season. Team. It's one that I got recently, I, I'm actually quite happy that I have this one, happy memories with this one. How happy was I with City winning this time around? Honestly, not that much, kind of annoyed me as well that they won it this time around because they have won it now too often but hey city go up there next up is italy my favorite league however <laughs> definitely my least favorite team have won the championship and i'm gonna show you a very old inter jersey it's a 99 2000 jersey uh brilliant stuff look at the crest how they have the one star just kind of hidden away but it's a really really nice one and of course it's very special because has Ronaldo also on the back, so uh, it's a great jersey. I I do like this one. I don't don't uh, like the team much. It was a very very comfortable championship for Inter. One of the historic ones, I have to say. I think Inter. This is one that will go. It was a season for the ages. They clinched it early. Yeah. Great work by Simone Inzaghi, who got his first championship. So Inter second up on the wall of champions. Interestingly enough, the two teams up there are, of course, the two teams that were in the Champions League final last season. Number three is Spain, another relatively comfortable championship, but it was more because the competition wasn't good enough, because Real Madrid, we thought at the beginning it will be kind of tough uh, with having so many new players, Benzema uh, away, but then on the other side, everyone fell by, by the way, so at the end it was only Real Madrid that, that was left. I'm going to show you the 11-12, the golden one. I think it's fitting uh, to this one. I mean, the current jersey also had a little bit gold, but a, 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 a few, few more colors. I think they also won the championship in this one. So, uh, brilliant Real Madrid jersey. Uh, Angelotti just doing an amazing job. Everyone thought he, he, he has done and he proves again that he's probably one of the uh, best managers of the past decade or of this decade for sure. So, Real Madrid will join the two up there. Okay, let's face it, if you would have said ahead of the season that these three will win their respective leagues, I don't think you would have made a lot of money. However, with the next one you definitely would have, because the next one is Germany, and this was probably the most impressive of all championships. Bayer Leverkusen won the Bundesliga, unbeaten, first team to ever do so, they even completed a double. So yes, uh, very impressive. This, this one's from the 10-11 season, a season that they finished in typical style, second behind Dortmund. But that curse is over now. I actually think this is a really nice, nice one, close to the uh, design that they had this season, except that the crest is of course full color. And I actually like a sash design better than the cross design. 
Bravo Leverkusen. I have to say this is the most impressive of all the championships that I have seen this season. You deserve to go up to the Wall of Champions. The fifth is of course France. Who else wins in France but PSG? Um, was just by default. It was again similar to Real Madrid. The competition was not up for the, for the task and PSG after the Messi Neymar era just was good enough to win win it all and maybe in the Champions League if they convert the chances we will still be talking of a potentially great season under Luis Enrique uh, but you know winning the double is not too bad uh, the jersey I want to show you is the PSG jersey that I've been using for uh, the entire season it's of course the one from the 1920 season where they lost the Champions League final and won all the other trophies I would argue this was probably the best PSG team under the uh, Qatari regime also quite a striking jersey, I gotta say. Close to how we want to have a PSG jersey, but still adding a little twist to that, that one. Um, I really like this one. Number six, the Netherlands. Another super impressive championship, especially in the fall. PSV running away with it. Uh, being unbeaten, or having not even drawn for a long time. And then they lose a game shortly after half, half time and then just had to bring it home. But it was in the end comfortable. I'm showing you the 10-11 jersey that I have for quite a while. Um, gives a nice contrast back back there. It's a pretty PSV jer jersey, I have to say. I especially like that the checkerboard pattern within the stripes, which is of course a reference to the region of Brabant, where Eindhoven is in. Uh, it has also a number with Trotman on the back. Sponsor is a little bit beat, 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 beaten up, which kind of annoys me a teeny bit but yes PSV congratulations for winning a very impressive Dutch championship uh, beating a Feyenoord team that was not that much worse from last season so yeah there you go well done Peter Bosch the seventh nation in the countdown is Portugal which had somewhat of a surprise champion it is Sporting who won it under Ruben Amorim, the second ever championship under this coach, who is now becoming a sporting legend. And I decided not to go with the home jersey that I have, but with a 1920 away jersey, which I think is quite striking. Uh, the navy with the dark green, uh, the sporting crest also kind of monochromatic there. Uh, there's the braille the, for blind people also on this jer uh, jer jer jersey. And I think the bright green accents really add to, uh, add to it. Except for these slivers here, it is a blank, but well, it's a brilliant jersey that I have, of course, as a last kind of very positive memories because we beat Sporting 3 0 in Linz when they were wearing this one. But it's a really nice jersey, and there you go, it goes up on the wall of champions. I have to say, Sporting is probably my favorite team in Portugal overall, so quite pleased with that one. I want to tell you a secret, I wanted to actually shoot this video already earlier uh, this week. However, there was one championship that was not yet decided, which is number eight, Belgium. It was decided today. Club Bruges brought it home uh, because they played an undeniable playoff. And for Train Love, I recently bought, because of the Conference League, a Club Bruges jersey. It was the away jersey from 08 09 uh the silvery color with the old style crest i like the floppy color of course i would love to have a, a classic home jersey of theirs as well but you know what is can still be but this is my club Bruce jersey for for her now i think it's a rather striking one i gotta say and served me well during the europa conference league at least for the semi-finals where i used it twice and now in this video it's only my second ever belgian team there you go so here's where the streak breaks for now. Uh, the top eight nations I have a jersey of each of the champions. Number nine is Turkey. That I don't have a Galatasaray jersey. Congratulations Galatasaray. I know the Turkish shirts are probably something that I should get into in the collection. But for now it did not happen. So we go to number 10. What's the number 10 league after this season? It is the Czech league. And in Czech Republic. Sparta Prague repeated as champions, just ousting Slavia, Slavia. Slavia. Uh, I have this 06, 07 away jersey without the sponsor, which makes it a little bit weird, but I love this, the club's colors, but also the white striping. I think they have worn something like that as well. Uh, really striking jersey, there's a nice story that I am linking up here as well that I have with this jersey uh, when I visited Prague the last time. Quite pleased with this one. So yeah, there you go.
In number 11 we have Scotland. Scotland of course Celtic again after Rangers denied them 10 in in, in a row. They won now twice in a row. I have here the jersey that was worn from 08 to uh, 09 and uh, 09 10 that I recently acquired to kind of add to my little Scottish collection that I have already. Three teams, you can guess which ones. Uh, I find this interesting because it doesn't have a sponsor. Yeah, the sponsor is ghosted out, which I think adds to the jersey uh, a little bit of an interesting de de detail. It's got a classic hoop design. Gotta say, it's a pretty looking shirt. Gotta say. So I'm quite pleased with them that, that, that I have it that plain. Uh, and yeah, it's one of those big teams that you gotta have in a large European collection, I would say. Number 12 is the Swiss League and after Zurich denied them four in a row, Young Boys have now worn two in a row and one of my real goals was to finally get a Young Boys shirt because Young Boys have a really good relationship with Lusk, at least on the fan level. And there was only one that I really wanted to have. I mean, yes, the current one is a very similar to this one, but this one was always striking to me. I have to love this one from the 10-11 season where they were not yet great. Uh, and I was so lucky to pick it up. I found it on Wilhelm. Yes, I paid a little bit more. But yes, it was also, I think, a New Year's present or something like, like that. Really, really pleased the brush stroke effect before it became fancy full and yes it has also a name set on the back so really really pleased with that one if now there was somewhere a swiss league logo if this was warm back then I, I i i i don't know this would be really cool yes the strike out is a little bit odd and maybe something could have been put there but other than that it's a really striking shirt i gotta say really pleased with that one so young boys swiss champions and the last one Number 13, the Austrian league has fallen this season. They had a bad two. two European seasons in a row. However, we have the monopolies broken. Salzburg won it 10 times in a row. They do not go 11 like Bayern Munich did last year. And so we have Sturm Graz. I'm showing here, I think it's the 2021 away jersey, which is the black one that I got. Um, striking short, I think it was the last one by Lotto. Um, rubber rice crest very nice pattern on there i really like it it's all uh black and white it's a blank on the on the on the, on the back of course punta gama all over but look at that pattern with the lotto on there makes for a really uh good looking shirt and i have to say yes if lask is not winning uh i think i was very happy for sturm Graz to to win it because i was really annoyed with so many league titles in a row and so sturm Graz. Thanks for breaking that one and now let's hope that someone else wins it. Someone that plays very close to me. Not gonna happen. Oh, maybe, maybe. Let's see. So these are all the 13 championship teams in my collection. I'm uh, quite proud of that one. So you can call this the wall of the champions right here. Let me know which of these jerseys you like best. Did I make good choices? I mean, there, I had multiple of the short choices for a few teams, like, uh, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty much all up here. Uh, the only ones where I didn't really have a choice were Club Rouge, were Sparta Prague, uh, Celtic and uh, Young Boys. So if you know a little bit more of my collection, let, let me know if I made the right choices to show you. And, you know, some of these teams have won double, so they might go into my video if I get to it probably get to it of European Cup winners which will also be fun. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, drop a line below and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!